episode today we're going to be playing actually we're going to be showcasing the new vehicles update they got in um, Emerge NYC so we are not going to be um, showcasing the collapse and uh, unit you know, like the collapse building update whatever you want to call it so um, for that's for another time rescue rescue units and stuff for um, made to respond to those calls so today we're just checking out new units because last time I did this I got a lot of views on the video see so yeah, these are Stillwater and Montgomery County vehicles so let's start off with engine 33 here for Stillwater County so it might be really loud I don't know about you guys but for me it's kinda loud so yeah as you can see the truck it's just it's actually uh, I like the light pattern and everything on it so yeah, let's just take it for a little drive You got your traffic advisor in the back. By can, uh, hitting one of the buttons, you can control that. You got your horn. That might have been really loud for you guys. I don't know. Sorry if it was. You got your Q siren. See, so yeah, this one, I don't really like this Q siren that much. Especially with how fast the brake slows it down. You got your whale. Yelp. Priority. Then when you hit G. Actually, I don't think this one does it. No, it's only got one set of sirens. Let's see how this this truck. Nice truck. It's, uh, so we're just gonna check these out all separately, kind of driving around a little bit. See, so you can see we have the same, pretty much same, different uh, connections and stuff for your uh, water tank and that. You have a little three-leaf clover. Where, I'm gonna get yelled at if I go that wrong. You got a little clover. We'll say that in the window. You got your back ends filter it up with different material, like different things you can use. Um, uh, you got your backboard, you got all your nozzles, your, what is this thing? What's oh, a torch? Concrete drill, all that stuff. You got all your other stuff in here, like oxygen tanks, water tanks, stuff like that. In the back. There's another backboard. Really, there's not much back here. It's just all your hose lines and stuff. Uh, back here, you have more of the, pretty much more or less the same stuff that you had up front on the other side. So it's nothing, nothing new. Then you got like an axe and stuff. See so, yeah, how this truck? It's uh, it's a nice truck. It's got the Q center on the front. It's got that nice light bar on the top. It's got so I like what I like with these ones is the only thing that does that makes it sad is these don't work turn on. So usually you can see these things on the bottom, they look like discs. Like right there. Kind of under the steps. Oh yeah, there's some on the bumper too. Usually if you hit your parking brake, those would turn turn on. And uh then it kind of I think the NFPA made it mandatory. As long as or same as uh, the Chevrons which this truck has, the other Montgomery trucks don't have, which makes no sense. So yeah, let's get rid, let's just remove that one, so we reduce the leg a little bit. Let's go up to the tower ladder. So this is a uh, tower ladder 33. This is a newer truck they added. Um, before it was just the regular ladder 33, which you guys seen in the last update on Emerge NYC. Um, we have a whole bunch of lights on this truck. It's more of a you got your big bucket and everything, so I'll demonstrate this truck first drive away from this hectic mess. I think this one has those lights on the bottom too. No. So this truck, same with the ladder 33 before, the headlights don't work. So I don't know what that problem, what their problem is when they don't want to do that. So you got uh, these. This you have two different tone sirens. Power call, and 
then you hit G. Then you hit uh, your Q sir. So on this truck, the headlights actually work. I actually know what I mind, I just said they don't work. That's another uh, truck I was thinking of. Um, the outriggers, they actually come out the sides. And If, if you hold alt or something like that it will go down but they're kind of doing their own thing now oh okay that's how it goes okay we'll just say that they're down they're kind of going down on all ends so, yeah you can enter the bucket in this truck, it's got the strobes on the side, just like the FDNY trucks. It extends. You can even shoot water out of the nozzle here. But I'm not going to be demonstrating that today since I'm not hooked up to a water source. Um, letters. It's pretty high. No, honestly, this is unrealistic of what I'm gonna, just going to do here. But just jumped out of it. I think I just died. I just died, yeah. Yep, I just died. That's fine. Hang on. Try that again. So yeah, it's, it goes pretty high up. It's a nice little nice little thing to have. I haven't used it yet in game, but messed around with it. Um, so yeah, let's move on to the rescue engine they added to Montgomery County. Okay, so yeah, this is what I mean. Like, these trucks don't have the chevrons on the back, which makes no sense at all, because it's mandatory by NFPA, so... Yeah, I like this because this is the rescue engine spare, so whenever I want to roleplay in Montgomery, and now I can actually have a more updated, newer spare, instead of having the old, like, 70s spare, this thing's like in the late 80s. Yeah, we got the headlights flashing, they're a little off there, I don't know why. It's just how I guess they build things, they just don't care about the looks. Um, I guess I didn't really look at the tools and stuff on the tower ladder, but that's fine. So the the G or the UI thing is kind of glitched in with the hoses and that. It's kind of sucks, but honestly, there's a lot of work that needs to be done. And I'm saying this now because I looked at the brush truck when they first got it, which I will actually show you guys later in the video what I mean. I'm, I'm honestly like, that red brush truck right there, I was kind of a little skeptical about showing you guys because it's so kind of, it's almost disappointing because it looks like, like it literally looks like Roblox. It looks like a worse than Roblox. So yeah, here's our uh, Q siren. I don't know if you can hear me now. It's an older Q siren on this truck. Yeah, this truck has a traffic advisor on the back too. Um, you got your. So this truck actually has two tones of sirens. It's got the old PA-300. Then, when you hit G, I think it changes the siren to this. See, that's pretty nice. Um, I will show you guys around the truck. So yeah, you can see there's... When you open these up, there's pretty much like your pickup bike. What was that? What did that say? Pickup bike? Yeah. Torch. Pretty much the same stuff the engine had. Literally, I'm not even joking. Literally the same stuff the engine had. It's got your hydrant tool, all that stuff. It's got. I don't even know if you can open this in the back. Yeah, you can. Got traffic cones, stuff like that. I don't know if you can interact with those. Got 
there are scene lights in the back. Which... Are those actually, like, broken? You're joking, right? The scene light is broken? Okay, well, uh, that's why I'm not using them. Okay, well... Yeah, there's this truck, there's a ladder on the side. I like the sounds of it, like, just the running, the lights, the rotators on there, just, they're beautiful. Okay, next truck, let's go to the brush truck that I didn't really want to show you guys, because it's kind of disappointing. Look at the cab. Here, right, I gotta make it, I gotta see if I can get over there and make it, make it a little, little better. So, like, I like the back end of it. Like, I like the kind of idea that got out of it, but this looks like you could do better. I, I've done better on Roblox. Like, there's no interior. Like, and then this truck has an interior. Like, it just, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, did they just think that, oh, it doesn't matter, like, it disappoints me. Like, really badly disappoints me. The truck is, like, like, I'm not even joking, Roblox. I've seen way better down on Roblox. So, yeah, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't really checked this truck. Not very much in here. Sirens, I hate in this truck. They are really loud. That is just dis disclaimer in this video. Is they're really loud sirens. So I'm assuming it's supposed to be the, uh, the EQ2B electronic Q siren. It just makes no sense. Like you get one, two. That's two pattern, and then three pattern. Show all your lights, but I don't know. This truck's are kind of a little disappointing. I find I'm just not going to use it. Um, this truck, I didn't even know. I thought it was just blank, but then I noticed it was actually a ghosted vehicle. I like the light set up on the front. I like the... So, as you can see, there's a glitched out light there. I guess it's supposed to be something like the NFM or NF FDNY vehicles. This truck is honestly almost like Roblox 2. I like the light pattern. I just think it has... I don't think it needs these lights in the back windows here. And then these ones in the back. Honestly, I don't think they're needed either, but it's fine. And then those two lights on the back aren't working there in the corner. The corner strobe beams there aren't working. But yeah, the sirens on this I like. Yeah, that's this truck. It's it's a ghosted vehicle. It's a pretty nice vehicle, actually. I like this. I like this one a lot. Maybe a different color would be nice or something. Maybe not ghosted, but you know what? If you guys enjoyed this episode of me showcasing the new vehicles in Emerge NYC, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.